Alright, so Rob just made a new game called Right to Fight. If you're looking how to get started on a game and what are the basic informations that you need to know and how to get uh, how to level up quick, at least in the way I did it, I will be teaching all of those in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So the basic attacks. So the left mouse click is your basic attack and your right mouse click deals more damage than the left mouse click. Q button also lets you grab the enemies and if you press Q again, as you, as you keep hitting the enemy, that blue bar on the top is like an energy bar. So once you hit the enemies and up, the bar will go up. But if the enemies also hit you, it will also reduce. So you gotta watch out for that. Once the energy bar is completely filled, you can execute your special skill, all right? So if you're glowing like this, your special moves can be executed. As you can see, there's a little circle on top of the enemy's head. And all you gotta do is right click on that enemy so you can execute your special attack. The blue aura, it's a fighting style called fisticuffs and its abilities are like a fine line between speed and attack. To get into fisticuffs, all you gotta do is just press 1. Is the frenzy. The frenzy, or the purple aura, is a fighting style that makes you more faster. So you're more agile and you can easily evade enemy attacks. The only downside here is that your attacks are more weaker, but the good side here is that since your attacks are faster, you can you can fill you can be able to fill up your energy bar really quick. Bruh. And the next one is the brute, the yellow aura. This one deals a ton of damage, though the only downside is your animation, your attack animation is really slow and your movements are also slow. It's pretty hard to avoid enemy attacks when you're doing so, but it will deal a ton of damage. Another thing you can do, by the way, I forgot to mention, you should also press E to evade enemy attack. If you press E, you can evade enemy attacks, you know? and also the same for the fisticuffs, all right? Wow. Foods and drinks allow us to heal and restore our energy bar, which is very useful when it comes to fighting. So how to uh, get to our food? All we gotta do is just press B, all right? And then here's our food. And uh, you you're gonna get food from either vending machines or shops. How would you know if you can be able to get food from them? There's a shopping cart uh, symbol on the map. You can, it's easily uh, seen and you can just, you know, select the stuff you want to buy and just click buy and you can earn money from killing enemies. All right. What's the difference between the plus sign and this blue fire symbol? The plus sign restores our health while the blue fire restores our energy. So as you can see, look closely, boom. There we go. It's restored now. Now we're full. Don't fuck with me! I have the power of God and anime on my side! Wait, you we're gonna go to abilities. So as you kill a lot of enemies, the game is gonna give you grit after you kill a lot of enemies. I'm not sure how much enemies you have to kill, because I just kill them a lot. And click this lightning blue symbol right here. And as you can see, we have a list of special abilities we can upgrade. Alright? And the grid is what we're going to use to upgrade our special abilities and learn these abilities. So as you can see, it's showing that I've already learned these abilities and the ones do, that do not have one only have like a muscle emoji it means we can buy those abilities. And if we hover over them, it's going to it's going to put a description on what it's going to do. All right? So as you can see, that's pretty convenient. All we got to do is just click yes. And then boom, now we bought it. Now we are more powerful than before. And the next one is the party, right? So party. A party is like you can, inv you can invite people to join your party. And then once they accept it, you can accept if someone invites you here. It's like an exclusive group of members that if you initiate a fight on the enemy and you're in a party of, let's say, two people, the other players won't be able to get to join your match. So they won't, they won't be able to get the loot. So what are quests? Quests 
are the ones that give us XP and money. And you can know that there are quests by looking at the exclamation mark symbol. And uh, this exclamation mark leads to an NPC that you can interact with. Alright, so just press E. There you go. And yeah, just you can just press E to skip their dialogues. Now, about the dungeons. Dungeons are the ones that are marked with uh, a little monster symbol with a horn on top with a little red arrow on top as you can see and if you go near it there's gonna be a really there's a gonna be a big red circle there what i recommend to do is when it comes to dungeons dungeons are really really difficult if you're by yourself and you're low level but if you're high level enough yeah you can go solo but i really recommend if you're just starting out you should go uh invite other people to uh raid the dungeon with you because it's more difficult because there's like swarms of enemies that's gonna attack you and uh, there's gonna be a limit to how much you're gonna eat in the dungeon all right so you after that limit you can't eat anymore so you can't heal or restore your energy bar so i really recommend it going with parties uh the dungeons once you clear up all the little mobs the last stage will be one of the difficult bosses that are really really tough and yeah you're gonna you're gonna need a lot of help with that though the payoff of the dungeons is really a lot there's like i don't know one dungeon i did g gave around like fifteen thousand experience points while other quests just give you around three thousand or four something to seven thousand and uh, yeah so it's it's a really big uh reward it also gives you a lot of coins as well so it's worth it i just recommend going with the party for the beginners out there if you're wondering what quest i would recommend you or at least, in my opinion, is the best route for a leveling up quickly in this game. So, uh, what you're gonna go here is look at the map. We're gonna go here and just skip the dialogues and just click all right. All right. And now, if you look on the top right corner of your game, it's gonna say the objective of your quest. So, all we gotta do is just defeat enemies that are on Ro Romero Road. So how do we know if we're on Romero Road or not? All we gotta do is just cross the streets and look on the left button of the map. As you can see, we're in Birchwood Boulevard, which we do not want to be on because it's not on the quest. And now we're on Romero Road, right? So any enemies that will be on Romero Road will be counted as a point for your quest all right so let's just defeat this one right as you can see as we kill these uh, guys our quest bar is filling up as we kill enemies all right so as you can see there we go now right there we go boom and the last one anyway why i recommend this one because this is really easy to farm like other quests have to make you find specific enemies for example you have to find a uh, mysterious men or the enemies with black suits which if the other players have already killed it you're gonna have to wait to respawn for those guys i feel like this is the best uh starting point because uh, even if you're level one you can still uh get this quest and once you have farmed enough enemies until level 10 once you're in level 10 you can now go to the other quest that i am going to recommend you all right all you gotta do is just press e to hold to run all right so you run run faster all right so anthony is over here on the shutter square you have to be level 10 to accept his quest right so right let's just accept his quest and this quest gives a really a good amount a decent amount of xp for for beginners because it gives around uh 7500 xp points and around 5k coins i think also i have a trick when it comes to the anthony quest the anthony quest only uh is only limited to enemies that are in the shutter square right so as you can see what i do is that after i clear out all the enemies in the shutter square because it's gonna take a little bit of time to wait for for enemies to respawn exactly in the shutter square so what i do is i lure other enemies from other areas 
back to Shutter Square so they can be counted as enemies so so you can finish your quest immediately all right that's pretty much it for the beginner's guide in right to fight so if this video helped you please do give a like down below and subscribe as well you know just click that button you can subscribe in the time and uh, you should also click the notification bell so if i post any new videos that might be helpful for you in the future you'll stay notified anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye